Minute Crafts. What? They're on Prime? No. Five Minute Crafts YouTube? There we go. How do I get the glare to not be on the TV? Hey, guess what? Five Minute Crafts has a new video out where they teach us what to do with money. So if you're getting a stimulus check, here's what you should do with it. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna try them. Sorry, I gotta mute this. Volume down. Oh, that's so much better. This is what I like to hear when I'm watching Five Minute Crafts. Nothing. Oh, cool trick. She's just pulling money out of her phone. I feel like this is just like a, this is a dad trick. Like how they have dad jokes. This is a dad joke of magic tricks. What the heck, let's try it. I didn't get a stimulus check yet, but wow, it's dark. I, maybe I should open the curtain. Why is there people outside? Go inside. Oh, the sunset looks cool. Can you see it? Yeah. I have my life savings saved in a jar on top of my fridge. Don't tell anyone. I don't want to get robbed. There it is. <laughs> Here we go. This is our budget for today's video. Okay, so we'll start off with our $1 bill. Hold it up. Then take a picture of it. There we go. Uh, zoom in a little. All right. Oh, uh, you can't see. There we go. And... Oh, look. I just pulled money out of my phone. Oh, wait. You gotta slide it. Oh, that's why they zoomed in. Oh, I get it. All right, I'll do it again. So you gotta take the picture from way... I wondered why they had to zoom in. I was like, why don't they just take the picture closer? Okay. That way you can zoom in. That looks like pull it off the screen. So, watch and learn. So, a little more. So, it's about the same size. And then watch. Whoop. <laughs> Did it. Let's try that again. Ah, uh, my other thumb was on the way. How do they... That's... This is hard. Ah. All right, ready? I did it. Yeah, I just pulled money out of my phone. Okay, that one was not the greatest that I've ever seen, but let's see what they have next. I wish that glare wasn't there. It's kind of bothering me. No coins? That's okay. Use a key. Wait, does that really work? Wait, does that actually work? But wait, does your key get stuck in there? That seems dangerous. Do I even have any keys around? My mail key is kind of shaped like that, but it's not perfectly round. And it's definitely smaller than a quarter. Those are supposed to be quarters. That would not work. I shouldn't say that. I'm not trying it. But everyone's supposed to be in quarantine, so don't, don't even do this one right now. What are you doing, five minute crafts? Come on. Oh no! Her bike fell apart. Does that ever happen to you? I hate it when the tires fall off my bike. There's almost nothing worse than that happening. Good thing money can fix that. Well, look, just take a couple quarters and use it as a wrench. Good as new. You know what, to be honest, I feel like maybe that's why the tire fell off in the first place is because you didn't use a wrench to tighten the wheel, but hey, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Personally, I'd say uh, take your two quarters, save them, and buy a wrench. Yeah. That's that's what I would do if your bike tire keeps falling off. Kind of dangerous. Wait, where did she come from? Did she just come out of the bushes? Yeah, she just walked right out of the bushes. I don't know what's up with that, but we're just gonna ignore it and pretend it didn't happen. All right, money. Oh yeah, just steal the flat iron right from someone who's using it. They're not gonna care at all. Notice how she doesn't even protest. He just grabs it. That strand of hair is gonna be straight on top and like still frizzy at the bottom. And she doesn't even say a word. He doesn't care. He's, he's just like, give me the flat iron. I need to use it for this crumpled up $5 bill right now. I I don't care about the aesthetic of your hair. My $5 bill not have crinkles in it. Abe Lincoln needs to be smooth. It's kind of gross. Money's gross. I don't want to get my hair straightened or dirty. Can we just not do this one? I'm going to pretend like I didn't see it. Oh, what's this? There you go. Drinking some bottled lemonade at the park. Can't get the cap off. Just fold up. I've seen people do this before and cut themselves. Uh, I've never seen it done successfully, actually. But I'm sure people can do it. I've seen people be like, oh yeah, I know this cool trick. And then they do it and they end up like slicing their finger. I've literally seen seen someone do that. I would try it right now, but I don't have uh, any bottles like that because I don't drink lemonade or whatever it is they have. I do have a monster though. Let's use it on that. Alright, All right, so we got our can of drink and our dollar that we pulled out of the phone and okay i did not pay attention actually to what she did she just folded it a bunch of times right dang money is so gross just thinking about putting this where i'm gonna put my mouth kind of grosses me out because i can't say it but y'all know what it is people are getting sick out there i don't want to get sick well lucky for me this dollar bill has been in my life savings jar for several months i've been saving up Ew. For this video. Hopefully this jar has kept it protected. Ready? Nope, just kidding. Not happening yet. Oh, you hear that? Oh, come on. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it didn't open. Can you see that? Look, it freaking broke. It didn't, it's like it's open a little, but how? Wow. Okay. Uh, like it's literally not, how do I show this? It's hard to see it, but like it's not open. It's just there. Otherwise, this would be falling in right now. Get cracked open just a little tiny bit. Uh, all right. Well, yeah, I can't even drink it. 
I just ruined my monster. Man, all right, so I would say don't try this one unless you're really, I don't know. I don't know it. Guys, I don't know. I would say don't try this one uh, if you're not experienced, which is, makes no sense because you have to be experienced to get experience. Okay, hang on, I don't know what I'm saying. Don't try it, I've seen someone cut themselves on it and it just ruined my monster. It broke the tab, it just broke the tab off. So don't, oh, what a fail. All right, well, let's see what they got next. I'm trying to position the camera right so you guys can see it, but not have the ring light like shining right on it. It's just not happening, I don't know what to do. And it's dark out now, so I like, I have to use lighting. I can't use natural lighting, cause it's night time. Whatever. Oh yeah, look at that, I need to adjust the brightness. Way too high. Hi. All right, let's see what they have next. It's kind of weird standing in front of the TV watching this with no music. Wait, what happened? She get robbed? Oh, she got robbed, no! She just stands there, doesn't even care. But wait, look at that tiny backpack. Do you see that? Do you see that tiny backpack? Look at that thing. It's even got little straps for the arms. No, hey, oh, I, dang it, I- Stop, stop, go back. I'm trying to make fun of this person. All right, here we go. Right there. You see those little arm straps? Like, is that really meant to be like an actual backpack? Or is it like for a doll? Because that's a doll's backpack and you're carrying it around with all your actual possessions. I mean, it's kind of weird, right? Or is that not? Is that okay? Is that cool? But like, look, your arm is not gonna fit through that. There's just no way. I feel like her cell phone wouldn't even fit in that bag. Look at that, it's like the same size as a phone. That's weird. All right, I need to stop and just see what she does about the thief. Cause that's the important part. Wow, I'm too close now. Oh, it's too dark in here, guys. The lighting good now? Whatever, let's see what she does about the thief. Hot glue, uh-huh. Oh, of course! Just hot glue a pocket on your underwear. You don't need pockets on the outside of your clothes, just on your underwear. That makes total sense. I don't want to do this one. I don't want to show everyone my underwear. It's embarrassing. Don't, don't look at my underwear. I have pockets in my jeans. I'm sticking with that. And why do they got to be right in front, too? They got to be right in the front of the crotch. Sorry, did I say it too loud? That's kind of gross. Is it just me? I mean, there's plenty of room. I know they're female undergarments, but there was plenty of room on the side for those. You know, a side pocket. It would be much, much more. I mean, seriously, come on. You hand it over, it's like, oh, it's a little bit uh, moist and smell. It smells like, stop, next. Guys, you're getting, you're getting out of hand. All right, calm down. Soap and dye. Oh, and then put money inside the soap because soap cleans it. Money's dirty. There you go. And this is how everyone's gonna spend money now so that nobody catches the, the germ thing that's going around. Just put your money in soap. I actually thought this was Jell-O when I first saw this. So I plan on putting money in Jell-O. I literally just realized it's soap just now. I don't care. I'm gonna put money in Jell-O. Let's do it. Oh wait, I don't remember what I need. Oh yeah, and it's not even in there. Ugh. I don't know where it is. I gotta dig to the cabinets, guys. I don't know where anything is around here. Give me a sec, okay? Okay, I had to take a break. Cause I was using a can of ravioli as a counterweight so this tripod thing wouldn't tip over while I was like that. And then I was like, wow, that ravioli looks pretty good. So I opened it up and put it in the microwave and that's what it's doing right now. And while I was at it, I turned on the air conditioner because it's getting hot in here, but the air is really loud. But I don't know if you can even hear it, actually. It's not that loud. But I don't know why it's even important that I tell you this, but I'm just telling you this. So if you need a break, this would be a good time to pause the video and make yourself some ravioli. I think mine's done. Wow. That looks amazing. Okay, so I found the thing that I was going to use. It was in the fridge. Uh, I didn't realize there was green bean casserole in it, so I'm not putting money in that. I just got some Tupperware. It's a little bit smaller than the dollar, but it's, it's what I got, okay? Let's do it. I'm putting Jello in this because that's what I thought they did. And so I literally went to the store and bought Jello. I didn't make a special trip for it, though. It was, we, are, we needed groceries, so I had... It was, essential, it was an essential grocery rent, okay? Stop. All right, so first, water, right? Then the gelatin jello. Is there a difference between jello and gelatin? All right, this is way too much, so I'm not gonna use all of it because I would have to get a bigger thing. That's probably good. Mix it up. Oh wait, I should make sure to use enough. How much are you supposed to use? I don't know how to make jello. It doesn't even say. Oh wait, you're supposed to add it to boiling water and then add ice? What? I'm not doing that. Why do you have to boil the gelatin? Oh, I'm not even doing it right to begin with. What am I doing? Do you have to actually boil the gelatin and then put ice in the boiling water? Like that seems like a prank. Like I feel like the person who wrote these instructions were, was just a prankster and they were like, huh, let's make people boil the water and then put ice in it. It's like, I don't, I'm putting it in here just like that all right so here's our dollar bill in jello sweet let's put it in the fridge there we go see you in a little bit i took too long of a break the tv turned off but i had i was hungry yep it's bright i think i have to change the brightness all the time i don't know what i'm doing is this acceptable brightness level no 
Oh, we lost our place. I shouldn't have ate that ravioli. Dang it. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, we're back. Okay. What's this one? Bunch of envelopes. Shopping. Leisure. Dining out. Oh, I know what this is. This is budget. Budget envelopes. At the store. Yeah, oh, shopping. Oh, no. There's no money in the shopping envelope. I guess you can't buy it. Not today, she said. Not. Not. I can't turn it side. There we can just pick up the whole ring light. Not today, she said. I don't think ring lights were meant for watching TV. Yeah, so if you're gonna do the budget thing, you should probably look in the envelope before you go shopping. Did you think of that one? I've actually done this before. And I was like, that's smart. I'll put all my money in envelopes. And then I know what I can spend money on. And they were all empty. And that worked well. So I've got some envelopes somewhere. Uh, wait, so these are freezer bags. Both of them? Why do we have two things of freezer bags? I thought those were envelopes. Oh, man. Dang it. Oh, I have more jars. I'll use these. Okay. All right, so we got three jars here. These are actually our money jars because they were from the dollar store. I was like, oh, that's cool. We could, like, you know, put life savings in them. And so I have $3 left in the budget, which is perfect. $1 for each jar. Cool. And what these are gonna be for? Well, I don't know, what do you think? Let's we'll put little sticky notes on all of them. Shopping, can you see shopping? Boom, here's the shopping budget. Say hello, George. Next is groceries, cause you gotta eat. Whoops, I just lost all of them. There we go. And last, we have what? Rent? That's boring. Besides, no one pays their rent in cash, do they? I don't think that's allowed. So we'll put Troom Troom, because I've been trying to save up to buy myself some Troom Troom merch. Pretty sick, so this will be my savings for a Troom Troom shirt. Sure. I never realized what a great channel that is. So here we go. That's how you budget your money, guys. Just get some envelopes or jars, and then just put them in your purse or your pocket or whatever, and when you leave the house, just grab them. Yeah, and here we go. They're kind of wet and sticky because of the jello water I spilled all over. I lost one. What did I lose? Groceries. No! We need our grocery budget. You gotta stay on there. There. Shopping. Groceries and Troom Troom. All right, I'm gonna put these back on the fridge now that we've allocated our money properly. And that's my entire budget for this video other than the Jello money we have in the fridge, but we can borrow some of this for the, for the next one if we need to. But let's put these back on the fridge where they belong. Cool. And since those were each a dollar from the Dollar Tree, they're each holding one dollar. That seems fitting. All right, we're back over here in this room. Let's see what happens next on Five Minute Crafts Living Room Edition. How close should I be? <laughs> what if my head just popped in? It's like you're sitting next to me or we're watching this together on the TV. That's kind of weird. <laughs> that laugh was kind of weird. <laughs> okay, so a white collared shirt and some pennies. Nice. And water. That's kind of gross. Pennies are disgusting. It turns them blue. Wait, really? Does that really happen? Ah! Ah! It's got dirty penny water on it. That it they dyed a shirt with dirty penny water. That's kind of gross. Pennies are gross. Right? Or is that just me? That... That's a little gross. I, I don't really have white shirts either. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna move on and I don't I really don't want to dye any of my clothes with penny juice. Oh! Wait, what are they doing here? Oh, some origami. Oh, it's a ring. They made a ring. Uh-oh. She does not want to get proposed to. Can you see her face? Yeah, she's not happy about it. She thinks he's really proposing. This could go wrong in so many ways. Guys, I'm into doing pranks and stuff, but I would say don't fake propose to someone. Of all the terrible pranks, that is one of the most terrible prank ideas you could come up with is a fake pro don't fake propose to people. All right, let's see this. It's a joke! Ah, oh, gotcha! <laughs> you think I would want to marry you? It's a joke! In your face, lady! I don't want to marry you! Everyone knows that! But it looks like she either does know it or is really relieved that she's not marrying this guy. And I can't say I blame her. All right, uh, should we do it? Should we try and make a ring? We have dollar bills. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna be taking the dollar bill out of the Troom Troom jar because honestly, if there's one that we could do without, it's it's this. So, just did this a couple times, and oh shoot, I should have paid more attention to the tutorial instead of just making fun of them. And also, the counter's really wet and sticky, and I don't like it. Uh, no, no, no. They went like this, right? Dang it, I don't remember. Help, someone help. You know what, why don't we just combine it with Troom Troom's awful idea of using these things for jewelry and that'll be the- Yeah, that's what we'll do. Cause I, I don't like tie a knot in it or something. Oh, I'm spending way too much time on this one. I'm probably gonna edit all this footage out, but I seriously cannot get it. So I'm just putting this on because I don't wanna bore you guys watching someone fail at origami. There, we've got a- Ah, uh, it came off. Dang it. Yeah, I was not paying attention. I was just making fun of it. That was my mistake. That was my mistake. Oh, wait, did I get it? 
No, you can't see the one. Oh, man. I think I did it right. You just somehow there's no one. There's supposed to be a one there for the $1 bill. I folded it wrong. Oh, man. But I did everything else right. Oh, that's weird. Okay, it's close. All right, it works. Kind of a weird piece of jewelry. I'll just flip it around so you see George's face. Say hi, George. This is my George ring. Yeah, I like George Washington. I like showing off how many $1 bills I have. Awesome. Next. Wow, this actually looks way cooler without the ring light on, but you can't see me is the only problem, which actually might not be a problem. Should we just? Yeah, you don't need to see me. You can just see. Yeah, here we go. It's a joke. All right, a battery. A magnet and a little light. You just solder them together. Hope I'll turn the light on just when I talk. How's that? Oh my gosh, that's bright. Just turn the light down. There. Okay. Hopefully you all have a soldering iron handy because this is a quick life hack on how to use your money. Buy a soldering iron to use for the next time you have money after you spend it. Light off. And let's watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so put the light in a wallet. Oh, I see. With the magnet and the battery. Oh, do you see that? Did you see that? Did you catch what happened? I'll go back. So what happens is when the magnet and the battery touch, it makes the light come on. But when you stick a dollar bill between them, it blocks the electric thing. So the light's not on when you have money. See, money's in there. They pull the money out and, and it lights up. You have money, no light. No money, it lights up. That way you know you're out of money. And then if the light's on for too long, that'll drain your battery. Then you'll have to buy a new battery, but you won't have any money to buy one. Also, like, who needs to be constantly reminded, hey, you're out of money. <laughs> Could you imagine if everyone did that? Everyone had those light things on their wallet, then you just knew who had money, who didn't. If their pocket was not lit up, it's like, oh, they must have money. The light's not on. But people who had, like, a glowing light in their pocket, you're like, oh, don't bother robbing them. They're broke, you can tell. <laughs> All right, so it's been a couple days and the jello didn't even turn into jello. I, I guess maybe you do have, do you have to boil water to make jello? I did it wrong. Oh, this is green. This is like really green now. There's a little bit of jello on it. Weird. Guys, this dollar bill is like really green now. <laughs> I dyed it green. Right, look how green that is. It kind of looks fake. Like, I probably won't be able to spend this dollar now. <laughs> it definitely looks looks fake because it's so green. That's funny. This week, I want to give a shout out to Angelina. I see you commenting on the videos, and I just wanted to you know that I really appreciate it. I do a shout out every Friday to someone who comments and likes the videos as soon as I post them. So if you want a shout out, make sure you subscribe with the notifications on. That way, you can like and comment the video as soon as I post them on Friday mornings. Thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video leave a comment let me know what you thought and if you have any ideas for next week's video and i will talk to you on friday thanks for watching bye